we have a system of linear of <clears throat> we have a system of linear equations here that we want to solve. And as I look at this system, I'm thinking to myself, what is the best strategy to use to solve this? And what comes to my mind is the strategy of substitution. Okay, and there's a reason for this. And this is, I look at my, uh, my two equations here, and one of my equations, this first one, is already solved for one of the unknowns. I know what y is. y is 3x minus 16. So what I can do is, I can take this expression, 3x minus 16, and I can come down here and make a little replacement or substitution. Okay? And so I can replace y with 3x minus 16 to get 5x minus 2 times 3x minus 16 equals 29. Now what I have is one equation with one unknown, and that I know how to do. So now I'll just distribute this negative 2 here. 5x minus 6x plus 32 equals 29. Combine my like terms, negative x plus 32 equals 29. Subtract 32 from both sides, and I get negative x equals negative 3, which tells me that x must equal 3. Okay, I'm not all the way done yet. I need to find both x and y. So now I take my x equals 3, I replace x with 3, and I get y equals 3 times 3 minus 16, which is 9 minus 16, which is negative 7. So now I have my complete answer, which is x equals 3, y equals negative 7. And just to make sure, I'm going to take this, uh, this solution for x and y and put them both into this equation here, just to check and make sure that I'm right. So I get 5 times 3 minus 2 times negative 7, and hopefully that's going to give me 29. Let's see, it's going to be 15 minus negative 14, which is the same thing as saying 15 plus 14, which is 29. Yep, it worked. So I know that this answer is correct.